terrific crowd gathered for the discussion today. So I am the, the head of the International Missions Trading Association, uh, which put together the BPMR about a year ago. And I want to let you know a little bit about how the companies involved in the BPMR approach the issue of climate change because uh, for a lot of companies that are new to the story of uh, how emissions trading works in a corporate setting, um, many companies might like for the problem of climate change to just go away. But I think the companies that are listed up here on the screen, which is just a small subset of AIDA's members, are companies that recognize that Climate change is a real problem. It's a problem that business needs to be engaged in helping to solve. And the business needs a workable, flexible emission trading market in order to achieve the benefits that are uh, really required by society. So um, uh, this is, a, as I say, a set of the companies that you're going to hear from today. There's one company that uh, somehow didn't make it on the list, and I want to emphasize PetroChina. As a member of AIDA, and Tony Guy and others are here from PetroChina, uh, and they are going to be a part of the team that's uh, giving insights from how their involvement in emissions markets has, has helped, uh, helped them over time. So I want to start off with just a couple of words about science because the issue of climate change starts off with scientific underpinnings. And this is an important time for the science of climate change because every few years all of the scientists from the international community work hard on reports to understand what's going on in climate change. And there's a new one coming out uh, very soon. And we know that there are uh, four key things, four key numbers that I want you to keep in mind that I think corporates around the world need to be aware of. And the first is that the international community believes that we need to limit global warming to no more than two degrees centigrade in terms of the amount of warming that goes into the system this century. It may sound like a small number, but it means some very big things. It means that we need to hold the concentrations in the atmosphere to 450 parts per million. That's the second number, 450. And that means that we need all of the major emitters on Earth to be a part of mitigation strategies to hold the emissions down. Because it implies that we need emission reductions on the order of 50 to 80 percent by all of the major emitters. So that's the third number, 50 to 80 percent. For Europe, they've said that they believe the minimum required in Europe would be 80 percent. For the U.S., they've said that the minimum by 2050 would be 80 percent. So it's a huge amount of emission reduction that's going to be required. In the new science that's coming out this year, there's a fourth number that I want you to keep in mind, and that's the number one trillion. Because the international community has, uh, the scientific community has found that they believe that the 450 parts per million that holds us to that safe level equates to emissions over the course of time of about a trillion tons of CO2. The reason that is important is that we have now already passed halfway, the halfway point of over 500 billion tons. And that by 2040, they expect if we don't change our behavior, that the one trillionth ton would be emit emitted. That's the number that we have to stay within if we want to protect a two degree centigrade warming. So it means that we have to start acting soon and that we have to start acting efficiently. So that's why all major emitters need to be involved, whether it's uh, China or Europe or the United States. And it's why carbon markets are essential to efficient deployment of uh, resources. And it's why business is a critical part of the equation because business knows how to bring together the elements of finance and technology and policy to actually make change occur. So we at AIDA think that the building blocks for getting a global market capable achieving, of achieving that level of reduction lie in the hands of businesses like you. So uh, it all started with uh, a UK emissions trading program a few years ago that eventually led to an EU-wide emissions trading program. And we've brought companies that operate in that market and that can tell you anything you want to know about how that market works. 
but we know that ultimately it's going to involve connections between the European market and other important markets. Maybe those markets are here in China, like the Shanghai market. Maybe those markets are in North America, like in California or the northeastern U.S. Maybe there are markets like Australia has been trying to get up and running. We have the expert here from Australia. But all of these markets are going to need to link together to provide an efficient business result. So our vision at AIDA for what needs to occur over the coming decade is these markets need to grow up and they need to find connections between them. We need to make links between them. So that's why we thought it important to begin a, hopefully a regular conversation between businesses in China and businesses in the rest of the world that are working in these markets. So that's what the Business Partnership for Market Readiness is about, is about making these links between business that will help uh, all of the markets work efficiently in the future. I'd like to close by thanking our hosts at the Shanghai DRC for welcoming us here and for helping us to organize what I think is a terrific program for you. I'd like to thank the Shanghai Energy and Environment Exchange for your help in uh, again organizing this and being our local partner and also to the British Consul, Consulate for being a terrific uh, advisor and partner in, in this effort. And finally there's a set of about 20 or almost 25 international experts that have come here uh, from a very long way to help bring their lessons learned and their uh, wisdom to you and I hope that you'll enjoy getting to know them and hearing from them over the next few days. Those are the members of AIDA's BPMR so I'd like to thank all of you for traveling here. Without further ado I'd like to officially open this conference and uh, thank you all for attending. Thanks. <laughs>